good morning YouTube, good morning viewers, Loft is here, here's the group, Jeremy's leading today, and uh, all seven of us have had a fabulous night, there's the hotels, the town, absolutely gorgeous place, if ever you want to stay in Caceres, I would recommend it, and uh, the Don Manuel, it's a lovely, lovely hotel, great place, uh, we had a meal in the town last night, and to be honest, we had a really good night. We was going to have an early night and we finished up having another late night, which is uh, quite challenging. But we're trying to make our way out of the town now. And uh, so far, so good. Oh, YouTube, we're actually rolling. Can you see the boys up ahead? Six bikes. We've got Jeremy, Graham, Ashley, Timothy, Stephen and Malcolm and me at the back the lofty biker. We are um, heading due east before we turn to head south and we're on the N521. Let's have a temperature check. It is 16 degrees and it is 20 to 10 on a Saturday morning. Um, the route is around the four hour, four and a half hour mark plus stops. Uh, as Tim needs fuel before the 200 miles is up, we will uh, have us put a splash in his bike about a third or two thirds of the way, depending on uh, how relevant it is and how close the petrol station is to the coffee shop. So as you can see, it's a little bit cloudy this morning, but it's very mild, much, much warmer than yesterday. And uh, we're looking forward to a good day. As I say, we're on this N521 for around 25 kilometres. So hopefully it'll get a bit more interesting and uh, I'll be able to put the cameras on and give you a good look-see. So I'll see you in a moment. OK, we've done about 35, 40 clicks along the N25, or N521 I should say, and we've come across this fortified town called Trujillo. Have a look at that. It's, I'm not sure what the camera's picking up, but it's, uh, it's got a huge walled outer, perimeter outer, and uh, a couple of castellated towers, and uh, a big church or chapel or whatever in the middle. So we're actually on a different road now. We're heading southeast on the EX208. Uh, the road service is quite good and uh, it's, it's fairly nice, good fast day road with a few twisties in. I'm here following Malk with his brand new MIV pipe that the baffle blew out of yesterday. I had to smile because a lot of people have to work out or do something devious to remove the baffles and Malk's just jumped out all on its own, how good is that? So if you buy a MIV pipe for your BMW uh, 1250RS, baffle removal is extremely easy. But look at the view. We're all riding in formation, looking out over the Sierras to the lower mountains. Uh, we're riding at an altitude more or less the same as most days, around between five and 700 metres. Beautiful, isn't it? We believe the temperature is going to get up to about 24 this afternoon. But at the moment, it's a nice balmy 18 degrees. Perfect riding weather. No heated grips needed. I'm just wearing the leather and uh, riding jeans, same as yesterday. And one layer underneath and I'm toasty. Beautiful. So YouTube, uh, we had a bit of a, just a quick coffee stop, that's why I didn't get the camera out to be fair. We're heading southeast now. Uh, the train's changed again if you notice, it's very green round here, there's lots of reservoirs up in these hills. And there's lots of, um, well olives, um, almond trees, you name it, oranges, we've seen, we've seen orange trees growing in people's gardens, absolutely fabulous. We're, we're having a bit of a blast down now, we're hoping that the roads become quite twisty and they're getting quite good as it happens. 
We should be at the hotel by about three-ish, so early finish by the looks of it, but we've got some good twisty stuff to come, so I'll let you know what it's like when we get a little bit closer. A beautiful big lake on the left, um, folks, look at this. There's a few of these resis up in the hills. It's absolutely beautiful round here. This is the Playa de la Oriana. It's a resort in the interior of the country where they've got a beach, caravan parks and all sorts of things. How about that? Another resi here, how about this? We've only come four miles down the road. Another huge reservoir. The one thing is, whenever there's reservoirs, there's normally some decent twisty roads. Beautiful wild poppies. What a beautiful day. Beautiful roads to the beautiful country. Chasing the boys down us. I'm tailing Charlie today. I don't know whether you know. I, I am actually at the back. I did leave yesterday. Um, Jeremy's leaving today. And I'm tailing Charlie. So I'm sitting here at the back having a bit of fun. Watching everybody else. Cyclists come in the other way, I think. Anyway, this one's tightened up a bit with the give way in 150. Here we go again. Unfortunately, looking at the, uh, the old Google Maps, we've got another mile or two of twisties and then we've got a big long straight, which doesn't look too inviting. But this is the same resi. 
it's huge. It's nice to see it this time of year after a long winter where they've had a bit of rain. There's a lot more water in the normal, but you, you can see how low the resi is. If you see the tree line across there, it's probably 100 metres lower than it can be. And they're supposed to have had quite a bit of rain during in uh, January, February over here in Spain. So we're crossing another one. Now look at that for a road, eh? They don't get much straighter. We've been on this now for about five or six kilometres and that road's what you call Arrow Straight. We've got mountains in front, mountains to the left, mountains to the right. How good is that? Look at the oranges on those trees, they're beautiful. A cracking little town this. Anyway, here's the update. It's 1 hour 40 minutes to Cordoba, 124 kilometres. Okay, I've done my Cornish hat. How about that? We've stopped. We're in the town. I haven't got a clue what the town's called. Um, Tim's just put a splash of fuel in and uh, we're hopefully going to have some spot of lunch or something. I'll just give you a look see around. Pretty little place. This is the... It looks like the, the high street. There's Jeremy knocking over the the um, furniture. I'm not sure what you can see. It's quite dark here. So Jeremy's down the bottom. There's me and Tim. He's Malk. Good old Malk. And he's the last two tossers here. I mean the last two gentlemen here. GS man and Mr. Triumph man. I think we're going to eat here. What's the restaurant called? Hello, sir. What's the restaurant called, old boy? Um, it's an unknown quantity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still for beer, eh? the That's the beer, isn't it? Beer. Yeah. That. We're not having no beer anyway, so it don't matter. So, what you ordered then, Steve? I've ordered you all ham and cheese sandwiches. And what have you ordered for yourself? The vegan Nada. option. Unfortunately, there's no vegan option. Well, I could have a bit of bread, I suppose. Yeah, we're having a ham and cheese um, sandwich. I'll let you have a look when he comes. We're sitting here in the shade, and Steve's going to have a walk about. Here's Timothy coming up the road. We stopped at a lovely little calf. They're friendly, so friendly, the locals. They don't do food. So he went in and said, um, can you do us a sandwich? He said, I'll ask the wife. Can you do them a sandwich? Yes, of course. So we've had a ham, cheese, and tomato toasty. It was very nice. We're, uh, we're on our way off now, so I'll see you shortly. Have a good afternoon. Well, I thought that was lovely of the people at that cafe to sort us out a sandwich when they weren't doing food. Was it? Seven of us had something to eat and a sandwich, and it was 26 euros. Amazing. I've just put the camera on for a sec, folks, just look at the views. It's amazing. We've got a bit of zeds coming up, a bit of turnies, a bit of twisties, I'll leave it on for you. This is a lovely bit of road.
big long sweeping turns, how about this? Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Strange looking building on the right, look at that. Straight through the ravine, cutting through the ravine, beautiful. This is a bit of a road, this is. So what do you think that was? Castle? Water Tower? Don't know. Strange. So we're coming into a town. This is oh, it's some sort of fortification. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Anyway, better start slowing down for the town. So we've come off the main road and we've, uh, we're doing a link up to the N502. Uh, it looks a, it's quite a twisted little road, it's more of a sort of a typical Cornish back lane to be fair. It's quite pleasant. We're about a wet, an hour away so we should be there and in the hotel for three o'clock nice and easy. But the one thing we've noticed is lots of wild meadows with spring flowers. It's, I've never been in, in this time of year before. It's always barren and brown when you're coming off so, but after everything's been scorched by the summer. But uh, when you come this time of year, everything's just coming into life. It's, look at the colored poppies, they're everywhere. These lovely, beautiful, wild poppies, wild lavender and everything. Some of these uh, minor roads, the road service isn't quite as good, but you don't get no traffic on them, so. It's Saturday afternoon now and there's a lot more people about. We've just got bullied. We was doing 110 in a, in a 90 and there was three vehicles um, literally trying to run us off the road to get through and get past. I don't know, it's strange. There's certain areas, people just drive slower than the speed limit and then you get a day like today where everybody's just mad. I don't know whether it's the Saturday day fever. I don't know. But we're actually uh, chilling about now, doing 60 clicks, that's all we're doing, 60 clicks around these little lanes. But it's good fun. Okay YouTube, we're on the final descent, it's about five miles, seven and a half kilometres down into Cordoba, it's a big place. We're on this road, it's the, uh, the M432, A4, A45, whatever you want to call it. It's a main trunk road. Yeah, but you should get a good view of the town very shortly. There it is. In the distance, that's Cordoba. Okay, here we are then, YouTube. Big town, big town, Cordoba. We've got split up, because uh, the one group did some armor takes on the hill and the other half didn't. And they've gone in down the centre and we've come off on the north and we didn't, it was too late when we realised which way they'd gone. But we should end up at the same hotel. We've all got the hotels in the sat -navs. They're right in front of us. We've got to take a left shortly. Where that red, where that red car is, you can't go left. Not here, there. What's this say? Except for except for hotels. Take the next left. What a lovely place. This is going to be hard work every day if we've got to come in and out this way. Well, we turn right here and the hotel's straight in front of you, according to me.
Jesus. The Marissa. Well, the YouTuber here, the old top Marissa. Just give you a quick look around before we go. Top of the stairs. Here we are, running 209. Bit of a shock. I've only got a single bed, I bet that. Big lofty single bed, small room. Let's have a look at the window. We are in the town, we are right in the town, you can't see. Narrow little passageway. So there we go, what we got? We got a telly on the wall. <laughs> Sort of a wardrobe type place. This, this is an old hotel. Proper, proper old Spanish hotel. Here we go. Toilets. It's not like last night's place, is it? <laughs> look at, oh, look at this little tiny shower for Big Lofty. How about that? Anyway, three nights here. It'll do, won't it? It'll do for Lofty. I'll show you around the hotel in a minute. Okay, let's show you around. I believe we've got to go upstairs to the roof terrace first. Let's have a look round. That's not it. Old place. Clean, very clean. He's Uncle Malcolm here. Hello, Malk. Right. How's things? I'm all right. Where's the roof terrace? For it, Shall we have a look? Shall yeah. we go together? <laughs> it's an old place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, I'll show you downstairs. How about all that? We've got a roof terrace here with a bar, I believe. Have a look at this. There's a bloody roof terrace. There's people up here. Have a look at the view. I've found the reprobates. Here they are. Hello, viewers. Hey. How's things? Well, it's not very central, is it? I mean... Yeah, sorry about that. No, I think you've made a right mistake with the hotel. It's, you know, it's... Miles from the town. Miles and miles away from anything yeah, worth seeing. Jeez. Have a look at this. Anyway, Stephen has just asked me if I wanted a beer. And I didn't want to say anything about the Pope, but he's the Pope of Catholic. Of course I want a beer. What do you say, Greg? You're looking very smart with your shirt on. Greg, how could you ask such a question? You're on a roof terrace, surrounded by sunshine and beauty. He's today's leader. He's today's leader. Absolutely cracking job. Well done. Super. This was about right. We'll discuss that later. Okay, so here we are. Let's go around. Lovely geraniums. Water feet. It's very old, this place. Is this the breakfast room? Yeah, that looks like the breakfast room for in the morning. Old ice cream maker or coffee maker. No, it's a coffee maker now. Famer. Famer coffee maker. Lovely job, Lee. I don't know what that is. That's a telephone. That's a, a, the old room number nine. Room number nine. There you go. I'll just put you through. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the reception. Let's go inside and get a good look at the hotel. Busy, 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 isn't it? That's the garage, the garage. Here's the hotel, the Marissa. And we've been up, up on the balcony up there. Superb. Well impressive. I don't know what this is. 
they look like pasties. Are them pasties? Are them pasties, old boy? As it happens, I've got breakfast yeah. included, I have. I've not. Right about that. It's probably the same people. Let's have a look. Little streets everywhere. Another one there, gastro bar, terrazza, rooftop. Yeah, same old stuff. Let's have a look through here. Into the gardens of the mosque. The world famous Cordoba Mosque. You can actually go in and have a butchers around. Unbelievable. It's quite an impressive place. I'll try and get some shots as we walk around. So here we go. I think this is part of the gardens of the mosque. Let's have a butchers around. There's a lot of very tidy bushes. But they grow like that, apparently. Ashley says they grow like that. I can imagine once a year some geezer with a, a cherry picker going up there and giving them a, a little bit of a... Hanging off somewhere. A little bit of a trim. He rings up and says, can you come and trim my bush? <laughs> yeah, we get a better view of the bell tower from here. Look at this. Of course, there's the mosque. That hotel overlooks all this. It's tremendous, isn't it? It's busy because it's uh, Saturday afternoon. It's a popular place. These are the boys, the lost souls. Actually, looks like he needs a beer. Going into the mosque, say a prayer. <laughs> Timothy's buzzing the camera with his Ducati t-shirt on. Anyway, let's have a look at the fountain. You were pissing my door. Anyway, we can have a beer. I'll, I'll speak to you in a bit. Good morning, gentlemen. Buenos dias. <laughs> a bit of Spanish, practice in Spanish. I tell you what, it's so much quieter. Well, we've already had an hour walk around and we've seen about 20 people, that's all. There's 20 there? Yeah, but, but that wasn't there earlier. <laughs> they just turned up. What, what are you doing? Are you lost? Um, it's there. Oh, no. He looks frantic. He's going to get his inner bags out of his bike to reduce a bit of weight on there. Getting a bit lardy, you see, with all this food. <laughs> He's getting a bit lardy with all this food. It's much nicer, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice and cool. You know where we came in and did that? You met us and we had to do the U turn. Yeah. Did you see it like the equivalent of a castle by this lovely gravel seating piazza area? No, we'll have a look later. Fabulous, we've just been running around the wall. Oh, we'll have a look. Nice, nice little coffee shops around there as well. So we're going to have a look later. Some old places. That's where my room is. It's not that side. It's that side. Oh, you lucky devil! <laughs> no, it's not. It was nice and quiet last night, wasn't it? Four thirty in the morning. That quiet. I down. did. I did. What? I had earplugs in. If you're listening, Uncle Town, I warned him. It's going to be like Pamplona. Half yeah. past four. My motorbike earplugs in. Half past four in the morning. I can still hear them. But uh, yeah. Anyway, he's still happy. He had a good night's sleep. It was very yeah, noisy. Very Jesus, it was noisy. I woke up at four o'clock myself. Absolutely on fire, <coughs> roasting, sweating like a robber's dog. Anyway, I'll show you around the breakfast room in a minute. Anyway, Aston's just been down the garage to uh, have a look at the bikes and get someone out of his um, panniers. And it's blocked in solid, there's cars everywhere. It's only a little garage, there must be 40 vehicles down there, absolutely blocking it in. Anyway, breakfast room. So what's, what's the verdict then, boss? Let's have a look, shall we? Okay. Shall we go in? Hola. Hola, buenas tardes, señor. Good morning, sir. Hola. Uh, siete. Para siete. Siete. Uy. Did you prepare? It's okay. Here you go. It's okay. Take a seat. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Hola, buenas tardes. It's quite a 
Could just more breakfast drink. It's all single tables with two seats at each, but it's not a problem. We'll all walk in and get ready. It's quite small, it's quite nice. It smells of beautiful, fresh bread. He's Uncle Graham, he's the man doing the orange juice, and he's the nice little lady. So we'll have a bit of snap, and I'll speak to you in a minute. Oh, good morning, YouTube. It's Sunday morning. We're at the Marissa, the Hotel Marissa in Cordoba. It's a proper old hotel. I mean, it's real rustic Spain. I mean, when I say oh, rustic, I mean rustic Spain. It's beautiful. We had a wonderful breakfast. It's only a small breakfast room. And uh, it, you should have seen his face when I called down and said seven people. Uh, he looked shocked. And then when he asked for the room numbers and we gave him seven rooms, he said, you're in seven rooms. We said, yes, seven of us in seven rooms. Anyway, the breakfast, uh, it was a bottle of water, a glass of orange, and then a, a plate of toast came, um, quite thick, like chipata type toast, and um, a muffin, or, um, or a donut, depending on what you wanted. A coffee, beautiful coffee, proper coffee, real coffee. I mean, proper Spanish, um, super coffee, tasty. Americano, black, beautiful. And then uh, a plate of tomatoes, cheese, ham, and um, olive oil or butter. It, it was wonderful. Then we had an extra coffee. Really enjoyed it, thoroughly enjoyed it. So if ever you want to stop here in Cordoba and you want to be in the action, the Hotel Marissa. The only thing is, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, it's a busy city, revelers, and they're still marching the streets at three, four o'clock in the morning. So you do have to be careful. It can be a little bit on the noisy side. So I'm going to turn the camera now, and I'm just going to give you a look at the hotel. There it is, the Marissa. As I say, it's Sunday morning, so a lot of locals, a lot of people about. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And this is how close the Marissa is to the action. Here's the Cobble Street. Here's the bell tower for the cathedral. And this wall is the guard cathedral gardens. That's how close it is. It is absolutely smack bang wallop in the action. There's the garage. That's why we're waiting. We're not just nipping down one by one to the, uh, to the bikes in the car garage. We're gonna wait and all go down together and all ride out together. So it should be good fun. So I'm just waiting for the other six amigos to arrive and uh, we'll get away. So here he is. Mr. Chair, have you got anything to say, Mr. Chair? Beautiful day, look at this. Blue skies, sun's up, roads are awaiting. Next adventure ahead of us. That's about it, that sums it up. The lads will be here in a minute and we'll be away. We'll see you shortly. So I've just jumped the queue a little bit about that. Good old lofty, I'm in trap three. I spent all day yesterday as tail end Charlie sitting behind Malcolm on his very, very loud MIV equipped RS. Yeah, I'm giving you a bit of a look at the town. Look at this. I can recommend this. It's in a good position. It's a nice place. And we're right in the city centre. And we get to ride down here every day. I'll let you know what it's like once we leave the old town and we have to negotiate the urban metropolis that is uh, downtown Cordoba. How about this? You've heard of pop-up market stores? It's a pop-up cafe, straight in the middle of the street. Marvellous. You go to some of these big old medieval, well they're not some medieval, they're even older. Spanish cities and they're, they're all so similar. The one thing I like is they've still got their independent stores and shops and cafes and bars. You don't get the big multinationals in the towns at all. It's obviously because it, the real estate's too small. You can't actually fit Marks and Spencers in anywhere. And if you did, it'd be over 18 floors going back about three weeks. Anyway. Have a look at this. They've got the, the wooden telegraph pole there hanging over at an angle so things can get through. I don't know why. Really strange. I've got no, um, no routes in today. I don't know where we're going or what we're doing. We're doing a wobble. That's all I know. We're having a wobble. 
and Ashley's leading.